A group of UT researchers has invented a disposable pen that can detect cancer during surgery in just seconds. Called the Maspec Pen, the device could save time, money, and lives. So in cancer surgery, um, the, the really big need is to remove most tumor possible, but also you want to preserve the normal tissue that surrounds the tumor. So a very obvious example is brain cancer surgery, right? You'd want to remove the brain tumor, but you really need to preserve the normal tissue that is around because that really impacts, um, you know, quality of life post-operation, right, for the patient. There are not a lot of technologies that address that in a really um, successful way. So the way that it's done today is the same way that has been done for the past 100 years, which is histopathology. This is the current process. The surgeon removes the tumor and sends a piece of the tissue to a separate lab within the hospital. They freeze the tissue section and stain it with standard histology dyes. Then, a pathologist, who is a doctor that specializes in looking at these tissues, looks at the tissue and provides a diagnosis. They call back the surgical room and tell the surgeon the margin is clean, meaning there's no tumor at the margin, so they removed all the tumor. Or they will say, the margin is positive, there's still cancer. Now, they have to take more tissue. The whole process can take 30 to 45 minutes. How can we make, develop a tool that actually could be used in the patient inside um, the tumor resection um, region so that the, the, the surgeon can probe the regions that are still um, questionable, you know, if there's still any tumor there or not, and get that response in real time without having to wait that time um, for the pathologic analysis. So that's what really I started thinking about concepts um, that became the mass spec pen. Here's how it works. The pen works by first depositing a very small droplet of water on the tissue, a few tenths of microliters. The water droplet stays on the tissue surface for about three seconds. In that time, some of the molecules of the tissue move into that water droplet. There's a valve that opens the droplet to a vacuum, and the droplet then moves back through the pen toward the mass spectrometer, where the molecules are analyzed. There's an additional chaser water droplet that is applied to help keep the lines clean. In 10 seconds, a surgeon can know either that the margin is positive and they need to continue taking tissue, or that the margin is negative and they can finish the surgery. For histopathology, they really rely on the shape of the cells and how they're organized to be able to tell if it's cancer or normal. And with the mass spec pan, we're extracting molecules from the cells. And molecules are highly predictive of disease state, if it's normal or cancerous. So since we're relying on this molecular information, we can make a really accurate diagnosis. This is a handheld device that a surgeon would hold and then do the analysis. That's disposable. We actually engineered it in a way that is pretty cheap. It's just made of common plastics like PDMS, PTFE. We 3D printed it, so it's actually pretty straightforward to make it. It's, it's very cheap in that way. So that handheld probe and the tubing is something that we envision being disposable, so a consumable that it would be used and then it would, you'd have to order more, right, for different surgeries. We really hope that the mass spec pan will expedite and improve accuracy in, in cancer diagnosis and especially for surgical margin evaluation. So. I I mean, our, our very exciting point of view is that, you know, this is going to be included in the clinical workflows in almost every hospital. What we really want to do is decrease recurrence as well. So by improving um, surgical margin evaluation, we hope that the patients will be um, coming last back, right, for a second operation. So we, we think it's going to be very transformative in that way.